Hey, what's up guys? It's Dan from Pinpoint Wildlife. Today I'm gonna be crouching the whole video because I forgot my tripod. And um, <laughs> I have a story for you guys. So yesterday I was working. Um, some of you guys may or may not know. I, I do pizza delivery. So I was on a delivery and I got to this location. And basically uh, it was just after a storm and I saw all these little froglets hopping across the street by the hundreds, probably by the thousands. But I didn't have enough time to really get a good good uh, footage of it. Um, I have a few clips here. Again, I apologize for this bad footage because I filmed it mid-delivery and I didn't have uh, much time to waste. to one of the little froglets overnight with me just so I could do a video and then obviously release him right away. Anyways, here he is. You probably can't see him from this far. I'll get some b-roll shots. Um, at first I had no clue what I just caught. And um, at first I thought it was a gray tree frog because it was a little darker, grayish, blackish, uh, brownish. And um, I noticed when I caught them, they were just sticking on the walls and they were able to climb a lot. I looked at gray tree frog uh, froglets and they look nothing like this. They have more of a slight gray or slight green look. So I'm like, okay, so maybe it's um, like a spring peeper. And I looked at the spring peepers. No, that's not quite it. Uh, they had a different uh, pattern on their backs and they had a little bit of a different appearance. So I'm like, all right, so it's not that. I don't think it's a tree frog then. Maybe it's a pond frog. So I'm looking at some of the pond frogs, um, but almost all of them tended to have a larger leg size. So almost immediately I was like, okay, I think I know exactly what this is. These are baby American toads. Now I've caught baby American toads before, but they were at least big enough so that I can kind of distinguish they're a little bit more dry, warty skin, and uh, they look toad-like, but these just lost their tails. They are that small. The size of this toad compared to a quarter, and I'm also gonna do a dime. These things are super tiny. So this isn't a full grown American toad. They get a lot bigger, obviously. Now, one thing I, I wanna discuss is a lot of pond frogs, when they first lose their tail, they're actually a lot bigger, and that's because they end up staying as tadpoles a little bit longer in the pond. Um, but toads, because they're more terrestrial, because they thrive on land a little bit more than other aquatic frogs, they can just lose their tail right away and be, you know, penny dime sized and be out and about on terrestrial life and looking for bugs day one, you know what I'm saying? So it's kind of interesting if you're finding little tiny little hoppers, chances are it's probably a toad because toads have the ability to do that. So yeah, I've, I've definitely caught a lot of American toads before, but these guys just caught me off guard because of how small they were and it was a lot harder, a lot more challenging to really identify what species they were. But I, I should have known they were toads from the start because of the, the smaller legs. So anyways, we're gonna release this guy and um, I did find a bunch of little hopping toads around this uh, pond here, which are a little bit bigger. So maybe I could get a, a few shots of those as well as a bunch of tadpoles in this pond. And um, yeah, let's get some shots, let them go. Uh, obviously they're not frogs. Well, toads are technically frogs, but um, they don't really need water. They don't need to, be, need to be in the pond, but I like to put them near the pond because they have a lot of resources available. And they are amphibians, so they can benefit from being Perfect. by water. 